It's a Monday morning. We're live, large and in charge, and always so cool to have your company. Thanks for joining us. And on this Monday morning right now, it's time for our Daily Tech Digest with our resident tech expert, Brian Smith. And uh, we've seen it all, right? Yeah. AI being implemented in a variety of ways in the modern world. But an English soccer team uh, by the name of Wingate and Finchley FC, uh, FC, like a whiskey. Uh, yeah, <laughs> are soon to make history by being the very first team to be coached by a computer. What on oh, earth is going on in yeah, the man. world, Brian? Is that what it looks like? Is it just uh, how, how do they engage with it? At least give it a coach. robot body. Yeah? <laughs> um, how does this work specifically? Because we know there's a lot of video analysis involved in coaching yeah. anyway. This takes it a step further, a few steps further. How does an AI coach work? Definitely, and thank you, it's great to be back. So this is something that's really exciting. We speak a lot about artificial intelligence, and to your point earlier, how it's intersecting with different uh, means and ways in our lives. Mm. And this is one of the first advents in which it's found a home in sort of supporting at least a coach or a football team in the sporting world. So this specifically is called an AI coach, and that name might be somewhat deceptive in the sense that it's perhaps more better classified as a smart assistant. Okay, it's not a head coach. <laughs> It's not a manager. Yeah, it's not a point three. Definitely. So what this does essentially is it's capable of absorbing vast amounts of data, looking at player positions, strengths, weaknesses, what the team morale is, for example, oh, wow. and it can deliver real-time suggestions to a coach, to an individual player, through an earpiece. So think of it somewhat as a coach's assistant that's capable of processing a vast amount of information far more quickly than your average human being can. Oh my good, that just blew my mind a little bit when is you think about it. Is it an unfair advantage? <laughs> <laughs> can your team afford it? Let's start there. But where do you think that this kind of technology could be taking the future of sports? Are we going to be seeing more super athletes that are more in tune with the finer nuances of gaming or, or, or of the game itself and being able to execute things that you couldn't uh, perhaps see before? Like you said, the computer does work faster than the human brain. Definitely. So I think in re with regards to football, what we'll see are these in these early tests where this AI coaches uh, deployed essentially what we'll see is it's analyze a uh, team's strengths and weaknesses for example uh, what strategies work best against a particular set of opponents which players might need to be recalled and substituted what it can even do which is quite interesting is that it can analyze a team's morale and deliver inspirational quotes directly to a player speaking broadly no, about he likes Jay-Z let's drop a little <laughs> bit of that it's, you know Specifically, what it could do more broadly is uh, be deployed in different sporting arenas all the way from rugby to cricket. And to your, to your point earlier, it may form somewhat of an unfair advantage, but at the moment, it's not too dissimilar from what a coach would be delivering to a yeah. human player in real time. Uh, uh, the thing where it really comes to bear for me is you take a penalty shootout in a big cup game. They now know, they're able to track players' movements. They know that the top left-hand corner from a keeper's perspective is almost unsavable. They know where keepers are diving. You could literally, in the moment, be able to say, okay, kick bottom right go for that 45 degree angle, he's only saved 1% of his things. Like, to be able to process that kind of data, where, where will this end? Where, where will it go? Do you sure. think we'll ever see coaches replaced? That's a really good question. Uh, I have an interesting answer in the sense I don't think we will. I think it'll be always be a case of technology will supplement what we can do. And the reason I can say that is human beings are unpredictable and there will always be data and information that an AI can't necessarily process at the moment. For you example, can't feel, man. <laughs> yeah. First of all, from weather to terrain conditions and all sorts of different factors, there will always be a variable that technology just can't quite keep up with. Yeah, and I think the name Android Mourinho just doesn't have the <laughs> ring to it. Do you know what I mean? But I, I'm, just, I'm now beginning to understand Oli Gunnar, why he's doing so well. It's on the oh, chart. I don't know. Is he the, real? The, Is the, it even the, the real Oli Gunnar Solskjaer? I don't know. I was just thinking about it right now. Oh, Imagine man. you had this AI coach as like your, your online forex trading coach. So it's plugged into the system and it's reading the stock market and it's literally telling you what to trade, when would to you trade. Give it, would I you hate give to it tell you money? that does exist. Yeah. <laughs> We're making money today, Where do I get it, guys? <laughs> Where do we buy it? <laughs> so there's some of the uh, interesting stories that have caught our attention from the world of technology. Let us know what you are sharing around on social media. And of course, uh, always use hashtag Expresso Show so we can follow Brian Smith. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alexis, make me a better footballer. <laughs>